What's up, everyone? It's EKP2488, and uh, I made a video earlier uh, that I actually did not have two attempts at, and I explained this in that one. Um, I did that in one shot. This one is my second shot. I'm not even kidding. If this happens like five more times, I'm not kidding. I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's making me mad how I have to do a second video the same thing. These videos are fun to do, but not over and over and over again. That 1998 no bull car that. It was three or four, it took me three or four tries to do that. Got this camera shutting off on me. Battery's fine. Memory card, it's, it's not like it wasn't full. The last one I did was full though. That's why it turned off on me. It was the power save crap. It makes me mad. I. Whatever. I, this one I have on here. That's why whenever I make videos, as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube, I delete them off of the computer in the camera. And, uh, what I'm also going to do is take the pictures from the camera, put them onto the computer, and delete the pictures from the camera so I have free space. Um, but that'll help me a little bit. Like I said, my other mini review on those mugs and cups and stuff. Yeah, I have to redo that. Somehow it deleted by itself. Uh, I explained that in the last video. It just irritates me why I have to um, do it over and over again. Uh, anyway, um, you're looking at a picture from 2013. I'm showing all like the newspaper and stuff that I have in this room at my grandparents' house. Uh, which I'm I'm there right now. Uh, you can use logic and inference that. Um, well, inferred that. Sorry. Well, this is uh, a picture of Jeff Gordon talking at the 2013 Daytona 500. Before it, under that, you probably can't read. It says Media Day features loose champ dating drivers. But, talking about Stenhouse. And Patrick, and in fact, another Athlon Sports thing from 2013. I'm not going to go through the whole book or anything because not all of it's NASCAR, but a new car, a new champ, and a new, and a new power couple. So, yeah, once again, talking about that. Picture uh, Jeff Gordon here from this year, NASCAR 2015 preview. Jeff Gordon's last lap. <clears throat> I don't believe the last lap at Homestead. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong at Homestead. He runs every single lap. Uh, first and last, the St. Joseph News Press. All right. Last video I took longer because I went through these, but I'm not going to do that now. But today the main review is on a NASCAR Champions uh, board game. There we go. Camera's good. NASCAR Champions board game. A uh, pretty fun game. Considering I do not play by the rules, I play my own way. Um, I'm going to stay back here if that's fine with everyone. Um, I I don't play by the rules, and I, I play my own way because it's funner. Uh, NASCAR, it's, it's funner is not a word, but who cares? NASCAR Champions, the thrilling race game of fast cars and big money. I read that upside down. Featuring Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt. For all race fans, ages 8 and up, 2 to 5 players. There's a reason for that. <coughs> um, collect collectible cards and 
poster inside. I read that upside down too. So of course you got Gordon and Earnhardt on the front. Uh, pretty cool lid, you know. Uh, fits right onto the box. I like how they do that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good idea. Um, sorry, that was kind of stupid. Just trying to make myself not mad from that stupid memory card. Uh, comes with this. Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, Dale Jarrett, Bobby Lavani, Kenny Wallace, Ward Burton, and Mike Skinner. These are all the guys you can play as. Says all their information. Fast cars and big money. Instruction book. There you go. Um, shows you how to put on the stickers on the dice, the chips, and the cars. Um, shows you how you can move. Get stickers. Uh, this stuff is still all organized in this one. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna check if you can see the board. Great, wonderful. The only thing I don't like about this is that I can't look at the camera to make sure it's not about to power off. So. You can see the board now. It comes with seven cars, but you can only play up to five players. There's two black cars and two blue cars. And there's cards that say black car and blue car, and, you know, they don't say which one. Um, set all these cars up here. So the collector cards have nothing to do with the game. They're just in there. Poster, I don't know where that is. Uh, my dad has had this for a long time. He used to play it. And, yeah, it's, it's, it, back then it wasn't something to collect. It was, a, it was something to play with. In fact, even drivers played with it. You know, if you don't have this game and you don't believe me, well then, you know, screw you. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm trying not to make myself mad. Uh, what's this all this rubber band crap in there? It has a picture of him playing right there. No Dale Earnhardt. I wonder why he's not in there. I'm gonna play award games. Too awesome for that. I'm sure Junior would have. You know, Hendrick taught Hendrick taught him well. Uh, they taught him how to actually race. Uh, work to win, you know, instead of wreck to win. Yeah, except their version is weirder. Theirs isn't this track. Theirs is like taller, like this is spread out. I'm sure lots, lots of other people have that kind too. Um, I don't know, I just made myself mad at Dylan hurt so much right there. Maybe I'm gonna just punch somebody in the face. He irritates me so much. Uh, like, I know he was friends with Gordon and everything, and he, you know, they, they got along pretty well, but, I don't know, it's, you know, if you're going to wreck somebody, do it for payback. I mean, seriously. Don't just wreck them. Don't just wreck them in the middle of, ra in the middle of the race just because, hey, I'm not good enough to get past this guy. Let's wreck him so that I can. That's pretty much what's going on, <laughs> honestly. I'm sorry if you like Dale Earnhardt, honestly. Yes, Dale Earnhardt, I gotta admit, he, well, he would be a pretty nice guy, I, I would think. Um, and he, he was a pretty good driver, but that's the problem I have with him is that he wrecks for no absolute reason. There's some drivers that's fine with wrecking on the last lap, but... He, he would wreck, middle of the race, he'd just wreck him, just because he can't get past him. Wreck him, just because. You know, it, that kind of stuff. You know, just wreck for payback. Seriously. I know he still would have had a lot of wins, uh, if he had, if he didn't wreck, but not as much as he does. Would have had maybe like 60-something, instead of 76. Uh, anyway, let's get off the 
Dale Earnhardt rants. Very sorry about that for you Dale Earnhardt fans. I'm a junior fan, obviously, uh, but I... I don't know. I'm in a bad, kind of in a bad mood right now about the camera. It made me so mad, and I'm usually not like that in front of a camera. Anyway, the first card. This one says move any one car four spaces. The money crap says if the yellow car finishes in the top three, collect hundred thousand dollars. You are a sponsor for the yellow car. Keep this card face down. Move any car. Move any two cars two spaces. We'll put that in that pile. Back burner. Move the last place car seven spaces. If there's a tie, you choose. Um, move any two cars, two spaces. Um, the big crash. Turn any three cars around. That would have to go right there. Move any two cars, three spaces each. Move any two cars, three spaces each. Move any one car, five spaces. Move any two cars, two spaces each. Uh, major spin out, turn any two cars around. Um, the sponsor crap, which I already read to you. Okay, shift gears. Play this card to re-roll all your dice. When this card is played, turn it over. Making the move. Uh, okay, move any car directly behind another car. The car moved must move forward. Crap again. But yeah, move any two cars, two spaces. The leader spins out. There's the tie you choose. Great. Move any two cars, two spaces. Swamps of crap. Turn any car around. Isn't that just nice? Turn any car around again. That's the reason why Dale Earnhardt is in this game. You know, there's... These guys are Dale Earnhardt lovers, and that's all there is, is turning cars around. I'm just kidding. I mean, yeah, he does that all the time, but... Turn any car around. He only turns around the guys that... He actually talks to, and he, you know, wants to stay friends with him, like Jeff Gordon. He's on his side. Back burner. That crap again. Move any car around. Move any two cars, two spaces. I say we put all the spinning out cars uh, right over there. There we go. So you got the movable ones, the sponsoring crap, the back burner, and making the move stuff, the shift gears, and the Dale Earnhardt pack. Um, okay. Okay, seriously, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. If, as soon as I get people watching my videos, and you watch this, if you're a Dale Earnhardt fan, don't hate me. Uh... The only thing I have against him is, you know, like I said, he spins people out for no absolute reason. Now, you know, if he was still alive and he was still racing, and he spun out Brad Kozlowski, no problem with that whatsoever. Could be the first lap. Can't get past him. Only spin him out. Final lap. They have a they have a 13 second lead. Dale Earnhardt and Brad Kozlowski have a 13 second lead. They're racing for first on the final lap. Dale Earnhardt puts Kozlowski into the wall. No problem with that whatsoever. At least Dale Earnhardt hadn't ruined Jeff Gordon's championship dreams. time Dale Earnhardt might have been mad at Jeff Gordon was when he passed him on the last lap to win the day 2500. Like, he might have been mad a little, but it's 
so stupid too, because I know people, there's this one guy I know, and he, he's a junior fan, and he's at Earnhardt, he likes Dale Earnhardt Sr. too, and so we were talking about him one time, and I said, dude, listen, Jeff Gordon, I know he has seven championships, but Jeff Gordon has more Daytona 500s, he has three, he's like, yeah, Dale Earnhardt probably has more than that, like, no, he doesn't. He's like, I said he has one. He's like, yeah, he has more than that. You, you're so freaking it irritated the crap out of me that he didn't even know it took him 20 years to win a Daytona 500. Seriously? It's his second favorite driver of all time. He didn't even know that. It took him 20 years to win one Daytona 500 in his whole freaking career. That made me so mad that he doesn't didn't even know that. <clears throat> anyway, proper way to put this stuff back is just like this. Anyway, cool game. You should get it. It's fun to play with your own rules. Make your own rules. Just so you know, it's it's kind of boring with these rules, but still, make sure you check out my next mini review on next game board mini review on the. Um, and that's Car Monopoly game, so remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for